But I don't know how many of you know that also Enoch is an author and has written a couple books as well. Her first book, My Israel, Our Generation, is the story of a generation of Israelis born after the Six Day War, whose parents fought for the country, whose grandparents helped found the country, and whose, this generation is now born and raised in a time no longer black and white, no longer of things that were making sense easily, but of gray areas. So my question for you, Enoch, is what's your message to these young people who are being raised today, not in the era of black and white, but of gray? How do you inspire them and encourage them to stay in Israel, to build it, rather than run off to Asia or America? Well, I'm, I'm always very fascinated by those moments in history when kind of we have all the words and concepts and structures, but a new reality and how we deal with that. And I think my generation really had to painfully view how many old myths were not relevant for a very great, complicated um, reality. But I think that means that when we approach the young generation in Israel and also abroad, we actually need to challenge them to complex thinking. We cannot simplify the reality, so we need to bring them and tell them, okay, Israel is not for the intellectually lazy. It's not for people who are looking for simple solutions. But Israel and the Jewish people in general are still, they provide you one of the very few opportunities I think you have in the world today to lead a meaningful life. I think we all have more opportunities to lead a comfortable life, but to lead a meaningful life, one that is part of history, one uh, that is a constant unfolding drama, uh, one that really you have a sense that a lot has gone before you, and still much will happen, it's a very rare opportunity. And Israel in that is uh, still a work in progress. Many people are frustrated with the fact that it's a work in progress because the things are not neat and clear. But that's also the challenge, that's also the invitation. And it's not an invitation only to Israelis, it's an invitation to Jews around the world to engage with Israel. And I think like in the next phase of Zionism, we should no longer, for example, demand that all Jews live in Israel. Uh, I think we should come with a message that says every Jew should view Israel as their first or second home. And second home does not mean real estate. Second home means a lifelong, meaningful relationship with the state. And that also means engaging with its complexities, with the problems, with the gray areas, but that's also a wonderful opportunity to be part of something great. So Israel, I think, is really one of the few opportunities you still have today to live your life as part of a, great, of a great drama and a great story and something that is very dynamic. And um, a comfortable life is a good life, but I think.